Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a tutorial and review on this giant palette, the Profusion Kaleidoscope 42 Shade Palette. Can y'all see that okay? This palette's so big that it's gonna be hard for me to fit into frame. But here's the palette. Like beautiful, beautiful shades. Um, I do have a pretty um, hot pink lip on right now. So I'm thinking we're gonna do like a pretty um, just pinkish look. So we'll see how this turns out. And also I just wanted to talk about um, just some life stuff. Uh, my fiance and I went out last weekend and took engagement photos. We did them ourselves. They turned out so good. I'm just really happy with them. I'm excited. That also kind of helped me kind of change the whole theme to our wedding um, because I just, I loved the whole aesthetic and feel of those photos. Um, and yeah, so I'm just excited about that. And oh, man, where do I start? I, um, had a really cool conversation with someone um, it's probably like a week or two ago now at this point and it was just kind of about my video with the uh, Sigma Cinderella palette if you guys haven't seen that um, go check that video out it's just a couple videos ago and I was talking about how I was just feeling so much pressure and was just so worried about meeting everyone's expectations and just about people wanting um, like my fiance and I to be around and just feeling all that pressure and um it was actually um Liana Dalton she's on um she's a YouTuber and on Instagram and she kind of commented and you know just kind of said you know you, you you have to live your life for yourself and do what makes you happy and that's what she does and that you know sometimes people don't understand and that's okay and that was exactly what I needed to hear I have lived my whole life for everyone else I put my needs last. I do things that aren't good for me to try and make everyone else happy. And that stops now. Um, my birthday's coming up and this next year of my life, I'm gonna live it for me. I'm gonna do what makes me happy. I am going to be around the people that understand, that love, and that support me. And you know, the people that don't, that's okay. You know, that's totally, totally cool. Sorry, I can see my hair like getting a little crazy. Um, but, you know, and, and that's okay. You know, I'm not for everyone. And I definitely realized that I was making myself small and not being my true self to try and make everyone else happy. And because I'm so worried about, you know, winning certain people's approval. And that's no way to live your life. That does nothing but make you miserable. Trust me, I can attest to that. Um, so, you know... I'm gonna be more myself, you know, the person that I truly am. And, you know, if some people are like offended by the things I do, that's okay. You know, it's, it's not the end of the world. Like I should be able to express myself and be who I am and, you know, not have to worry about what other people are gonna think about it. So that's kind of, you know, what I'm gonna be doing. You're probably gonna see more of my, you know, sarcastic, funny um, personality come out here. You're probably gonna hear some curse words, but that's who I am and that's what I do. So hopefully, you know, that'll be okay. We're still gonna do makeup and stuff, but I'm not gonna hold myself back like I kind of felt like I had to be. So hopefully that'll help me be more of my true self and bring more energy and just have more fun. I mean, I was really enjoying doing this, but I just kind of feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders and I can kind of be more of myself now and not worry so much about that. So that was a super long intro, you guys. I'm sorry, but let's get to this beautiful palette. I want to start out with the shade Adore. Like, oops, sorry, it's this one right over here. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful, like bright pink shade. We're just going in with it, you know? Like, no transition shade, we're just, we're going for it today. All right, so it's looking a little more purple toned in person than I was thinking it would be. Um, but it's beautiful and I'm not mad at it, not upset about it. Oh, 
There are also a lot of different finishes in this palette and I can't really tell by looking at everything like what's what. So this could be an interesting video to film. Just trying to figure things out. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. I'm really excited. I'm loving this. Okay, so next, I don't know what's... This shade Marvel right here is just... I don't know. It's so funny because I'm like, I really don't like purple, but then I see like purple shades and I'm like, I just have to have those. So I'm going to go in with the shade Marvel. I'm trying... It's got some glitter to it, so I'm trying to... Sorry, I hate when my hair pops out in the back and it just looks like there's like this crazy random thing popping out. It's just my hair. Um, I'm trying to decide what brush I'm going to go in with because it's kind of got that glitter shade and I don't want to get it like all over my face. But I feel like I need to use the right brush to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, am I going to regret this? Okay, let's see what happens. So that's like blending in like really, really well with the shade, um, the crease shade. very very pretty and it's kind of got I guess with the sparkles it kind of gives it like a little bit of like a blue shift kind of that's really 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 pretty okay now I want to go in with hmm, what do I want to do now I don't even know I'm going to start with this shade Memories right here, which is just a light, light pink right there. Yeah, like all these shades are kind of blending in and looking very similar, but I promise they're different. Um, I'm going to go in with like a sparkly shade um, after this, just to kind of see how that looks. like one of the um the cream formulas in this palette. I'm just trying to we got some fallout guys. Um trying to decide 
how I want to do this and what shade I want to use. There's this shade, Irreplaceable. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. And then the shade, Echoes. So, um, this is Echoes and this is Irreplaceable. I'm kind of liking Echoes. I think I'm going to try and take the shade Echoes and maybe just put it like on the inner portion of my eye and see how that looks. Definitely is given lots of glitter, which I love. Can you guys see that? That is really, really pretty. Yes, this is, oh my God, it's amazing. It's beautiful, love glitter. I just love the effect that it's giving to this look. Can you guys see that? Like, oh my god. It's freaking perfection. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to do my lower lash line, which, um, kind of want to go with a pinky shade, but I feel like the only one that I can really go with is, um, a door, which is the shade that I did up here. Which, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I also like doing like different shades under, on the lower lash line. Hmm. I don't know. Cause like really, the only other thing I could think of would be to go in with a blue, but I don't really want to use one of these blues. I don't know. I guess I'll just go in with a door, which is that pink shade, pinkish purple shade that's up here. And let's do like a light little coat down here to tie it all in together. I'm just gonna go in on this lower, you know, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna use the shade Timeless, which is the shade right here, just for, just to brighten up the lower um, inner corner. Yeah, that looks gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna go clean up some of this fallout and put on my mascara and I'll be right back. So I am back. This is the final look. I love this. Like I fucking love this look. Like, oh my God. I don't know what it is, but I feel like this just beautiful, um, 
pink purple look is exactly what I needed today. Um, yeah. I'm hoping that you guys can see the glitter um, because it's so pretty. So anyway, I love this look. Um, this was the Pro Fusion Kaleidoscope Palette. I think it was only like 20 bucks. I picked it up at Walmart. Um, side note, my Walmart, their makeup section is a total disaster. Everything's busted. 90% of the stuff is not in stock. There's just empty spaces and it's horrible. So that really, really sucks. But thank goodness I have an Ulta nearby. Um, where I can pick up most of the stuff I want or I just order stuff um, online. But here's a look at the inside of the palette. If I can get this opened. I have trouble with packaging sometimes. This thing does not want to like come open you guys. I'm like making a mess here. I'm trying to not bust my nails or the palette. Okay, here we go. This is the inside of the palette. Can you all see that okay? I think so. Um, beautiful, beautiful palette. I love Profusion. Their stuff is affordable. Their shadows are phenomenal. Um, I think the only thing I really tried for them from them um, is most of their palettes. I did get a lippy, um, like a liquid lipstick not that long ago, but it didn't really impress me. It wasn't as opaque as I would have liked. And I don't know. I mean, it was okay. Maybe it was just the shade. But I, I'm definitely, their eyeshadows are um, some of the best. So if you haven't tried their, um, their eyeshadows, I would say if you happen to have them in your local Walmart, just pick a palette up. They have palettes that are, I think, only a couple buck, bucks up to like $20. And they're definitely, um, they're worth it. They're really good shadows. I love them. I love this look. And that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are not subscribed, please do me a favor and subscribe. Give, give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you.